See? Sorry? You think it's gonna rain? It's, gonna, it's bright. It's bright across there, but you're getting some black clouds coming across. Mm. Okay, Mama Lou is talking about black clouds. Heavy gray clouds. Heavy gray clouds, but some beautiful blue ones on the right. Okay, okay. You know, life is like that. Eh? Look at, at the mountain tops. It doesn't always be somber always in life. We do have patches of gray blue. And that's Beautiful life. Beautiful blue. Yeah, that's life. Almost like my jersey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. It's nice to be alive, and it's nice to be quieted, and it's nice to enjoy a good morning together. We have some good news. We have some neighbors who have hit their 57th year of marriage only yesterday. And we wish them a lot more. 57 years is quite a big number. Quite a journey, yeah? Quite a journey. You know, they say there's no traditional gift for 57 years, or 57th anniversary. But if we were to go more than it is said that you could give glass, or you could consider a mirror. But you don't why have- Why a mirror? I don't know why a mirror, but I would say that um, a mirror is a good, is really a good, um, a good gift, you know. And but you know, you know, it's not a gift that people to really think about giving somebody. No, and the thing about it is you use a mirror every day. Yeah. I'm sure you use a mirror a while ago. Of course. Right. <laughs> yeah, you use a mirror pretty often. So when I, when I, when I heard that, the, you know, you can use, you can give a mirror as a gift. I wonder what was the objective of a mirror? A mirror reflects. Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! The mirror reflects. Yes, not only the physical, you know. I think you know you need to go deeper than the physical. Let me see you. What the mirror reflects? Okay. But you, but you have it on yourself only. Well, I'm me, seeing you now. Well, oh, you see, want to see me now? I want to see you, but I want to see me. Oh boy! Where was this mirror all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what I see in this mirror. Tell me what you see in the mirror. Oh gosh, I'm looking at myself. No, you mean you want to look at me? Yes. You see a, a coco pile? <laughs> you know, when I look into this mirror uh -huh. of 54 years. I have 54 years, yeah. When I look into this mirror now, uh -huh. I see what a handsome young man <laughs> has turned into has me. Turned <laughs> into <laughs> a very more handsome. You're lucky, you know. Yes. You're lucky, girl. I will just hold back on your allowance, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I see a young man, mm -hmm. young handsome man has grown into even more handsome old man. Well, okay, okay, you're lucky, you're lucky, you're lucky you put it that way, you're lucky you put it nicely. What do you see? I see, sorry, that's me, sorry. I see, really, your face is kind of big man <laughs> for this mirror. <laughs> hmm? I see a woman. I see you. No, 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 I'm seeing you. I see a woman who... I see a woman who has never changed her ways. Not even my hairstyle. Yes, yeah, somebody said, you know, you should do something about the hairstyle, but... Well, I, then you wouldn't recognize me. No, 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 no. How do you feel about my hairstyle? Well, you know, Louis had long hair. And for our marriage, the day we went to this church, she was about half an hour late, right? Mm -hmm. 
and walks in. And, and you walk in with the hair all cut very short, and I was so disappointed. I was so disappointed. I had to look at you carefully and say, Am I is the right woman I'm married? Yeah, boy. Did you say woman well, I'm going to get married to my? <laughs> and then, boy, I never could have imagined you felt that disappointment. I thought that I wanted to look so special for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not realizing yes. that that's how when you met me, you met me with long flowing hair. Yeah? Yes, of course, of course. So after that, I grew back my hair. And then, for the last 40 years, mm -hmm. for the last 44 years, I've been combing my hair back. Right. And I think that you are going to love me that way. Yes, I have. Well, I have. Maybe you should say for yourself. Yes, I coming back to the mirror. Yes, because you are seeing a woman who looked the same for the last 44 years. Yes, 54 years. But 44 years with my burner. 54 years with a bun. 44. 44, yes, yeah. With a bun, with a bun, you know? A nice bun. A nice bun. I've tried to eat that bun many times, eh? <laughs> but it just I wouldn't work. Just... So the thing about it is this mirror, as a gift for the 57th anniversary, it really hasn't... Um, Why are you putting your fingers in front of your mouth? That is, ref I'm trying to reflect on things, and you know? It, you you kind of look important when you put your finger there, you know. Mm -hmm. But then the words come out kind of garbage. Exactly. So thank you very much. Um, yeah, I see a woman who would not refrain also from, you know, improving a situation, right? That's what I see mirrored here. But I see a caring person. I see a loving person. I see a compassionate person. And. I was reading something this morning that says the more you share love is the more contented your heart will be. That is very true. Right? And you can share your love. I think when Mama Lou goes out into the garden and she's trying to preserve the lawn grass and she's trying to do things, it helps the situation really that she's sharing the love. You know, there was a young man last Saturday he pulled up in front of us, he, he drives a motorbike. He rides a motorbike. And um, he was saying, he had some hard experiences in the past, but he was saying on Saturday that he's doing all these nice little things that he's bringing back his motorbike. He wasn't harping on the mishap that happened with his- He was just positive. He was so positive. He had a, he had a bad experience with a truck that was stolen from him. And all he got back was just a bare shell. But he was expressing his joy at how he could just take this motorbike and make it look good. There was he was going to paint it over. Yeah. He was going to change this, change the muffler, do this, do that. I mean, I'm not familiar with some of the terms, but you know, he just keep really fondly talking about what he's doing next week and what he's doing the following week. And then when he gets his money, he will finish the job. And only then he would paint it. So yeah. then when you be brand new, you be brand new. And Louis said to him, I like how you are sharing your joy. Yes. And that is something that, you know, when you focus on positivity, as Lasana always says, focus on positivity, your joy grows. If it is something or someone, your joy is growing. And um, the hubby she has ready of pulling out the weed from the garden, she loves her garden. She loves her flowers and whatnot, and they they tend to bloom more when she gets going on it. So, Mama Lou, you know this this question of a mirror. It's good sometimes to sit down and look at yourself and tell yourself, you know, as they say, tell yourself this: I am missing nothing. I have life. I have health. I have a family who loves and cares. I have my grandchildren. I may not see some of them, but whatever the circumstances, we love in our heart. That's something that, that's something that people can't take from you. You remember that joke with the mirror? Oh gosh, no, I wouldn't give that joke now. <laughs> no, it's, it's a good joke. Yes. Okay, I'll tell it in a little while. But let me just finish this. When you have something in your heart, 
and it's positive. Circumstances may want to take it away, but if it is secure in your heart and it is sincere in your heart and it is about goodwill, nobody takes that from you. Nobody takes that from you. We may lose some ground, but nobody's gonna take what's inside of there, what's buried inside of there. So friends, what we're going to do now is we're going to tell a little joke. Mm. Yes, and don't forget after go and take out some more weeds from the last set of weeds I am hoping that I want to take out before this garden get really this long grass start to grow. I don't want any trickle of weed in between. Mm -hmm. So I want to do that job because lots of rain fell yesterday and the ground is nice and soft. So, but that's a good joke. Okay, I'll give Since it a joke. Since you're talking about anniversary and you're talking about mirror, I think it's appropriate. Okay, when you see, there was this very old couple. They had no mirrors in their home. They nothing. probably were married 57 years or 60, <laughs> maybe 60. Or maybe 53. <laughs> <laughs> they lived in the countryside, really into the woods. And the man hadn't been out of the woods, neither the wife, for years. But word came down that there was going to be a little um, trade fair. Trade fair, what we used to call trade fair long ago. It would be like a kind of flea market type thing, and uh, with games and whatnot. So the, the the man got wind of it and he said to his wife, "Let us go into the village where we you know where we have been for years, and let's go into the village and see what we can get." And she said, "No, no, no, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in that." So he goes alone and he walks around to the village and whatnot and whatnot. And he walks around, he looks around and then he comes to a boot. And in this boot, somebody has a mirror up for sale. So he takes them, he takes the mirror. the mirror and he looks at it and he said, that's my dad. What's he doing here? That's my dad. What is he doing here? Okay, so he buys it and he carries it home. And every now and then he's looking at it. He puts it into his drawer, he covers it with his clothes, whatever. And the wife, however, becomes very suspicious. What is he doing there? <laughs> and um, she, she feels that he's come from the city or the, the village and that he must have met somebody who he's interested in. So she decides when he goes out, I am going to look and see who it is. But the man was so engrossed in this thing that this is my dad, this is my dad. Every time I look at it, this is my dad. Dad, I miss you. So he goes out one day and she sneaks in. Typical wife. <laughs> and she and pulls the drawer open and she moves the clothes and she picks it up and she looks and she says, Oh my gosh, if he's leaving me for that woman, he can have her. <laughs> That's a unkind joke, isn't it? <laughs> You laughing? You know, maybe woman gonna want to buzz your head though. No, but I, I love to think of the moral of the story. What's the moral? The moral of the story is that sometimes we come to conclusion mm -hmm. based on evidence. You know, they say, always say you cannot come to conclusion unless you have evidence. Audit, that's part of audit. You must have evidence to come to a conclusion. And sometimes you could have evidence, but it is not conclusive. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> because she didn't know what she looked like. And she looking at herself and she thinks she, she's looking at someone else. Yeah. So her conclusion was wrong. Yeah. And how many times we can misjudge someone. Yes, true. So while it's a joke, I, I see the seriousness side of it. Jump into conclusion. <coughs> they say if it's one exercise, women do a lot, is jump into conclusion. <laughs> oh, Lord, it is. So we need to be careful how we judge. And men run after shadows. And men run after shadows. Let yes. me hear what you have to say with that. Oh, sometimes, you know, you become a little too ambitious and you go beyond your means. 
and you and you 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 so i will leave you to talk while i just go no i would i would you, you want me to hear i still want you to be around me okay yeah, be around me now man support me now okay the thing about loving and and being there they say when you share your love it will come back to you in multiple ways sharing your love it gives us satisfaction no our friend there in page daughter she shares her love oh well, yes she really does daughter you may not have seen any videos from us considering what you recently did but I have mentioned it before and I'll mention it again and we have mentioned it before and will mention it again. You kindness. see, your kindness is like Louise's kindness. Now nah, boy, don't that double me boy. Yeah. But just is really generous. Yeah. Now sharing your love. You know, I it says you know it's it, it, you share and you just can't what really is love? Love is a strong affection. That's how the, the, the dictionary puts it. Eh? Love is a strong affection for your partner, for your siblings, siblings, for your for neighborhood, your friends, yeah, family. Yeah. Love because is, you have love, love in your heart for everyone, you know. Compartmental love, you know. Yes. Not because you love one person, you can't love the other one. Or we take sides with this one because we don't like that one. Love must go straight across the board. That is right, love. So, there are a lot of areas that we would have faltered in. A lot of things that might have disappointed us. But, to love is important. So, what Mama Lou wants to go and do now is a, a daily task of pulling out all those weeds that she can. And um, I'm going to support her by <laughs> waving the camera behind her. That's the best job I can do for her. Lancy, before we, I don't want to forget, but I, on reflection, it dawned on me, it's have been quite a while I have not healed out to Margaret. Margaret who? You remember Margaret who came around Christmas time last year? Margaret from down in New Grand Side. In New Dawson. Grand. Margaret ah. Dawson. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Margaret, how are you, my dear? It's been a long, long time I haven't healed out to you. And I remembered you when I was going to a function. And I used your beautiful bag you gave me. And I said, hi, ah, it's been a long time, Margaret. Thank you so much for being so thoughtful. Everyone loved the bag. Thank you again. And I thought too about Corinne and Denzel. Right, right. Corinne and Denzel, trust that you all are well. I am still hoping that one day you and Denzel, or if you all cannot come, I think I'll have to bring that cook one fish for you all. Mm -hmm. I haven't forgotten you. And as you see, my face is still looking good, <laughs> although the soap is finished. <laughs> so I hope to check you out sometime soon okay all the best and of course everyone else indra um mm -hmm. tony and shanta mike mark and richie richie michael sobrano these are names that i always call out marcel and ken marcel how are you doing my dear i know you are quite busy these days um yeah Florence, Kali Charan, um, Patricia Bedou, um, Betty Florida. They could help me some more Lancelot. I am not going to um, do too well with this. Me too and... Me too, me too and Shami. And Shami, Shivani. Yeah. And what's Shivani's name? What's her name again? Mark. Mark. Yeah. And... Um, not forgetting my dear friend Wilma mm. out in Brazil. Brazil. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, of course, who names have not been called? Stephen from all the way to C from Cedrus. Zilak. No, Claxon. Cedrus boy. Stephen. 
Yeah, Steve and the Lasana friend. Steve. 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 Yeah. Steve. Yeah. Vicky Maraj. Yes, all all my wonderful family in the caucus. Frank and Gilson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Michael and Anne, Hannah, Wendy and Wayne, my lovely brother brothers and their wives. And we trust that Mr. San is making a chicken foot soup, so we will check him out in a little bit. So, Lancy, I will go now. Yes. While you can you go show them the garden. And that will be this segment. So, there's Mama Lou, well dressed. Gonna get sweaty in a little while. So, Lancy, come, come and see. Come and see that. We need to have to attack you. Mama Lou is going to. In, by the end of the year, for the holidays, this lawn will be looking like that area here. Mm -hmm. I had to replant where I took out. Mm. And here are some weeds that still have to be taken out. But these are starting to get hard. So I'm going to have to use them. <laughs> oh gosh, Mama Lou. You can, somebody said they are the constant gardener. Mama Lou? Now look at the land shot. Uh -huh. Look at for instance where these weeds are coming out, right? Yeah. <laughs> I want to teach you about, <laughs> you and I are always arguing about weeds and weed killer. Mm -hmm. But as I tell you, look at these weeds. Weed killer was applied twice. And look at how healthy and nice these weeds are. Very good. So I say, Lancy, feed any weeds? I feed in the weeds, boy. So now look at this landslot. Mm -hmm. You see now, by removing these weeds, mm -hmm. these new ones are going to spread. Right. Excuse me, Louise, I'm just going to show them your beautiful flowers here. So, Mama Lou, has been painstakingly attacking all the flowers, cleaning up everywhere in between. Had Lance cut down this big tree. Oh yes, so the hummingbird now has to be to find a new place. No, we're gonna hand it back. Mm -hmm. Look at the butterfly. Where? Look, look, look on look at the butterfly there. See it? So, uh, where, where's the butterfly? You're not seeing it moving? Okay, right. I got the camera the wrong way. Oh, oops, oops, oops. It's gone. Butterfly. Okay, it's coming back. Look, look. Uh huh. Just stay quiet. Uh huh. Okay, okay. It's busy. It, it was it was interfered with. It was alarmed. Mm hmm. Beautiful money. Look at the red, um, the red, um, crown of thorns. Yeah. And this is the pink one here. And we have the yellow in the back. Mama Lou. Mama Lou. And weeds growing again. Okay, folks. Well, I, I'm going to just indulge Mama Lou a little because we have some music next door. And it will just encroach on this production. So, Mama Lou, wave goodbye. Bye. Back to work. Take good care, friends. Have a good day. It's an early start to the week, Tuesday. But let's hope that all goes well for everyone. Bye-bye.